Hi to Chaco. Oh, here come the militia. He's gonna creep though. Paladin towers is not going to work un until you have a level three paladin, of course. Blade Master is gonna creep this ogre. Aki knows. Get Aki knows. He has it's going double burrow before attacking. So very slow attack, which is it's gonna be perfect against paladin. Is it? I don't know what's perfect against paladin. Cause uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to play with the paladin. What? How is he supposed to play this game? He has three footmen now and a paladin. He got a ring of protection. Granis Darkhammer is his name. Here comes Grunty Punty. And uh, the, the paladin going for the null brute. Another footman comes in. Four footmen. Blade Master. Can he still the. No, he cannot still the null brute, but he might be able to go for the paladin, sure. I mean, these level 1s are not very uh, relevant. Actually, the Paladin could kill all level 1, get level 2, get Divine Shield. Because he's taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he was planning to take Divine Shield. There, he heals another footman. He's taking a lot of damage from his Blade Master, as expected. Uh, Claws of Attack and Gloves of HD on the Blade Master means he does a lot of damage. He kills his Null. Well, he gets Divine Shield. He gets level 2. He gets more hit points as well. Uses the Divine Shield, but that's just 15 seconds. And after those 15 seconds are over... He's just gonna die in one chop. One chop will be enough. 40 damage plus his normal attack. Actually, one chop might not be enough. He probably needs two. There's one. There's two. He even needs three. <laughs> but the paladin does die. And what do we get here? A revival on the paladin. Nice. And of course, a farm, farm and a blacksmith going down as well. For rifle man and more supply. There's another grunt. Blade Master, is he going for this level 5? The Paladin is dead. Even if the Paladin was alive, what can he do here? Blade Master going for the level 5. Ogre, there's a nice ensnare here on the footman. The grunts, are they going for the footman? They are going for the footman. Two grunts chopping him up. There's a third grunt. Uh, the footman trying to defend the footman. The Blade Master. Sold his item. Don't know what item he got, but he sold it. He has some pretty good Blade Master items. How is how is he gonna count, uh, counter this? Without an Archmage, without without a Mount King, without anything, just a Paladin. It's pretty much a footman. Paladin is like a footman. They can heal other footmen. Heal some uh, grunts. There's one rifleman, there's the paladin. Second rifleman is almost out and he's going for the expansion. Is he going for the expansion? He, he does not go for the <laughs> expansion. Melissa going back home. Second rifleman. He's almost here at keep. And we see Helsing go for this uh, this expansion. This item is going to be another great Blade Master item. He's going to do so much damage. Another circlet is fine. It's fine. Not really the item he wanted, but it's it's fine, of course. Raccoon over there. He's going for the Rifleman. But there's plenty of healing. There's two more Holy Lights available. There's one. And he's grunt now. Snare. Can he get the grunt? Blade Master is healing, but he comes in. This footman takes, uh, this grunt, I mean, takes so much damage, he's going down already. One footman here is taking a lot of damage as well. He only lights the footman. So the holy oh, but now the rifleman does go down very fast, of course. Because holy light, he's out of holy lights. And this footman also is dead. Here come the militia. 100 damage critical strike already. That's just a level 1 critical strike. That means he did 50 damage times 2. He can do even more. He can do up to 59 damage times 2. Blood Mage, okay, Blood Mage, like the, I like the Blood Mage. Blood Mage will deal with the Blade Master, just keep banishing him. Steal mana from the Shadow Hunter or the Blade Master himself. Oh, there goes the Peasant, that's that Peasant, he gives some mana to the Paladin. For more healing, and, um, great. He wakes up the creeps. Steal some more mana from the Blade Master. Blade Master down to 44 hit points. Uh, mana points. And Blade Master going for the Blood Bank. 100 damage critical strike. 
We have now a red, red blood mage. Can he kill the blood mage? He's using a lot of resources to kill the blood mage. There's another holy light. Uh, a grunt goes down. Blood mage does go down. How much mana left? He actually has plenty of mana for more hexes. This rifleman is so dead. Where's that hex? There's it. There it is. This grunt also is dead. We have a berserker here for Helsing. We have a level three uh, paladin now. Especially healing those uh, riflemen will make a difference. But this riflemen is a little bunny. Here come the militia. And this riflemen is so dead. There's two riflemen left. Is this blood mage almost back? No, he's not even reviving the blood mage. He should revive the blood mage ASAP. It's just level one hero. He comes back so fast. This rifle, uh, this militia is dead. This footman is taking a lot of damage. He, he's dead. Blade master is fine. He's fine. 34 supply against 34. But we have tier 2 up. We have two tier 2 buildings here for Helsing. What do we have here for, for Johnny Cage? No tier 2 buildings. Build a blacksmith though. Which counts as something. How did he just get this greater healing potion? Did he just buy it? Might have just bought it. He didn't get it earlier earlier and there's no... No more creeps to drop this item. Only this one, right? Okay, here it comes. 40 spike is 40. Blade match to lose some mana, but we have a hexed seal, uh, baby seal, blood match. Now that we have level 2, holy, holy uh, light though. Blood Mage probably isn't going to die anymore. The, the Grunt here takes a lot of damage. Grunt goes down. Paladin under attack. Use the info potion. Blade Mage should be fine. Shadowhunter has mana for one more hex unless it gets stolen from the Blood Mage. Four or five Rifemen now and two Footmen. And there, is, there he steals the mana. He's down to 57 mana. He's going for Mr. Footman. Killed the other Footman. Now he gets some mana from the Blade Mage. 174 critical strike. But of course he has Holy Lights. Where's that holy light? Oh, he didn't have holy light. He tried to give mana to the paladin, but he was out of mana. Blade Master has this greater healing potion. He's going for the paladin. Paladin in danger. He has a DP. Oh, divine shield was uh, okay. Was at uh, no longer at cooldown. Blade Master will have to use a greater healing potion. There goes the rifleman. This guy is super low hit points. Nine hit points. This one also. Can the militia kill him? No. There, even the shadow hunter low on hit points. Somehow it's still. Even in supply, it feels like Halsing is killing much more than he's losing, but he's actually just killing heroes. Those are pretty cheap to revive. And the units trading is pretty equal. Pretty equal. Paladin is hiding here behind the trees. We need a level 2 blood mage here for uh, Johnny Cage. The banish is gonna save his ass. Banish on the Blade Master, of course. He's got, building an Arcane Vault, not even an Arcane Sanctum. Just go mash Rifleman without any casters. These the units are healing up, are and he's going hand. back in. Oh, Lightning Shield of this one. <laughs> Imagine if he had Lightning Shield of this guy that's being attacked by Raiders. Raiders kind of useless in this situation. Well, not completely, but I mean, they're just here for Ensnare. Their bodies are kind of useless. And we have four raiders. That's too many raiders. Why, why is he building mass raiders? I don't understand. Well, the blood mage is dead. <laughs> He's still on level two. Kill this, kill this right, this guy, and you get level two, and you can banish yourself. There he is, or banish the blade master. Okay, banishes himself. He gets a holy light. He's back to full health points. And uh, this footman goes down. This this raider takes a lot of damage. He goes down. This rifle man super low on hit points. Can he save the rifle man? No, the blade master kills it. Shadow hunter is definitely not. Uh, has no mana. Blade Master kills the Forest of Shadow Priest. I don't understand why you even build the Shadow uh, Forest of Shadow Priest. Can he get some more crits? Uh, he, he has a crit in a while. I don't see any. There's a crit. 162 crits. And of course, the Spirit Walker dies very fast too, so uh, focus fire. No. He's going for the Paladin, but I think he still. Does he still have Divine Shield? Else he can always banish him. Does he have mana for banish? No mana for ban. Okay, he does have Divine Shield. 15 seconds, there's a holy light just in time. If this blade master just, this, uh, just did two more damage, we'll kind of, this ogre just went down. 
Uh, if the Blade Master just did two more damage, he would have killed that hero, the Paladin. Uh, or was Blood Mage? I forgot one of those heroes, but he didn't. Why is he making so many Raiders for his Rifleman? I have no idea. I have no idea. Is he still doing this? He's building more Raiders. No more Grunts. No more Spirit Walkers. He has one. A player's forces are under attack. I think I like like what two Raiders maybe? And then a lot of grunts. Just speed scroll in and kill uh, try to kill the rifleman with your grunts. And uh, have two of them and snare so they can't run. Four raiders really screams like you're going for hero kills. But these heroes are hard to kill. One has divine shield. The other one has banish. We have holy light as well. And <laughs> pretty much all their skills uh, make it hard to kill the heroes. Was a paladin buying here? Buys TP maybe? This uh, rifleman is, is maybe dead. Going for... Okay, he kills both of them. He kills two riflemen, but I'm not sure what items he got besides the TP. He got a healing potion and kills a raider. Holy lights, a rifle guy. This uh, this guy takes a lot of damage from the ogre. Does he have level 2 siphon mana? I assume he does. Uh, that's what everyone does. The blood mage gets a holy light. And uh, yeah, this army here just from uh, Helsing is just... It's just a bit of nothing. He's just relying on his heroes, which is... Uh, Pretty normal, of course, for Orc to do, but I feel like he could, you know, get some grunts. <laughs> grunts actually kill riflemen. The riflemen are 2 0 upgraded, by the way. He went berserkers? There's no casters. For human. No arcane sanctums. He's building towers, okay. Of course, he saw the raiders earlier. But the last fight he didn't see any more raiders, so I don't think he should continue building more towers. A player's are uh, of course, mass raiders is really good at base race. <laughs> Paladin now with uh, two rings of protection and of course his aura. He uh, picked not level 2 uh, divine shield, he picked the devotion aura. So every, everyone has plus one and a half ar uh, armor. 41% here on the Paladin himself. He uses the Divine Shield. This Raider is dead. And yeah, he's just massing more riflemen. 48 supply against 40. Shadowhunter is finally going to be level 3. And he's building grunts now. They don't have the Berserker upgrade, but they do have an Armor upgrade. One, two Grunts now, and a Raider. Okay, do we have a fight here? Looks like it. Shadowhunter gets his mana stolen. Oh no, that was definitely level 2 Siphon mana, by the way. 30 mana per second. Two dead peons. He's going for the Burrow, he's... Going for the burrow, banishes the blood mage himself, steals some mana from the uh, shadow hunter. I think he, did he just dispel the banish? Okay, there's a Kodo, um, which is nice for the DPS, but he better be careful with the Kodo. He holy lights his uh, this right man. Okay, the blood mage in trouble, ma banishes himself. Do have another holy light for the blood mage? He has level two banish now, unless he picked flame strike, which we see now and then as well. Uh, this grunt is so dead. He didn't have spirit link, did he? Kodo comes in, but. He dies in like two waves of folly fire. Fo uh, folly fire? Focus fire. There's a holy light on this uh, rifleman. He buys an ogre. 49 supply against 39. Oh, he kills this peon. No mana on the shadow hunter. Does he have a sh he shops all the way over here? So this is a nice angle to attack from for Johnny Cage. Because uh, ah, it's not much of a choke, but this is a little bit of a choke. <laughs> the blood mage is under attack. Does he have banish? Where's the oh, there's holy light? Where's the banish? Bit late on the banish. There's a dispel, and now it's a chicken, and there's another holy light. Chicken uh, blood mage has another banish, of course. 
He has armor as well, plus one and a half armor. He's just standing there. Uh, Kota goes down, like I said, before he dies so fast. There it is, GG. And the Blood Mage is still alive. GG. 1-0 here. Looks like another strange build. Another Paladin. But this time maybe with a uh, faster Rifleman. Last game he started off with Footman. And then he he started winning once he got some Rifleman. Maybe he will start with Rifleman this game. It is an Archmage though. Archmage, Rifleman, is that what he's doing? Uh, Helsing, of course, playing pretty standard. Blade Master, Barracks, again a slow tag. Second Burrow, Peons. Beautiful. I'm sure he's gonna build a shop soon. Okay, Lumber Mill. Okay, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Lumber Mill? Is he just playing one base? I mean, uh, no barracks stack. Maybe he's just going for some towers. Just going to try to harass with the arc base. Maybe build a barracks later. Maybe skip the barracks completely. We'll see. No shop here for uh, Helsing, by the way. Which means he's probably, yeah, he's just planning to harass. Usually, uh, if you want to creep, one creep camp. You creep a creep, like this ogre. You get the item, you go back, you buy items, and then you go harass. But if you uh, if you don't build a shop, that means you are going to harass from the start. You cannot creep the ogre because you take too much damage. Uh, I mean, you cannot heal it up because you don't have a shop. So here he comes. The base is closed here with this farm. And the blade master, what does he find? He doesn't scout the base. Maybe the grunts should scout the base. No. Does not scout the base. He does know there's no barracks. But maybe he knows how Johnny Cage uh, plays. Johnny Cage go for this uh, no brood. The blade master will find him. And he will now maybe realize, hey, there's no footman here. And actually the grunt already scouting. He's going for the water elemental. This one will... The Archbase gets it. Wow. What a deny. No XP gained there by the blade master. The second one goes to the creeps. Wow. <laughs> Again denied. This blade master still at zero XP. Wow. He could have had 84. If he was maybe a bit luckier. He does get this null brute. He's finally, he has 48 XP. But he takes a bit of damage here. The argument is throwing fireballs at him. Remember, there was no shop. But the shop. There's still no shop here for the Helsing. So if he creeps too aggressively uh, without building a shop, he's in, in trouble. He better build, build a shop at some point. He buys the boots and the circlet. He's, he's creeping. Where's the shop? There it is. But Johnny Cage, no, he's not going into cancel. He's going to sell his TP maybe or buy boots. Does buy boots and does. Could probably cancel the shop now, but he's not going to. Instead, he finds the blade master here. Can he kill the blade master? Blade master has no mana, but soon he will. He will have one mana for one uh, wind walk. And then he should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure what this militia guy was doing. We see tier two here. He's gonna build a beast master or summon one. I guess you don't build one. Players' forces are under attack. Okay, the beast master is killing these gnolls. I mean, the overseer is already dead, but these gnoll wardens—they're all dead. Are they still level one? Of course, blade master also still level one. Beastiary going up, shadow hunter going up. Uh, he didn't build a spirit lodge. Don't know why. Is this guy want to? Does this guy want to make one? Maybe he was afraid that it was going to be cancelled. He kills the the sheep, by the way. The piggy is he going for the bestiary? I mean, the, just the piggy by himself cannot cancel it. Of course, he summons the second piggy. This, one, this piggy is just just annoying the grunts. 
But uh, the Beastmaster doesn't have boots, only the Archmage has boots. So the, the Beastmaster takes some damage, the Piggy blocks him. Uh, and gives boots, boots of speed to the Beastmaster. And he should be uh, fine. Here's the Spirit Lodge. And here are the Arcane Sanctums. Priests, Sorceresses. Arcane Vaults. Oh, Blade Master going for the Beastmaster. Doesn't have crit, by the way. He's still level 1. He has Wind Walk. Here we see another Clarity Potion used. <laughs> he doesn't have Brilliance Aura yet, so... No Infinite Mana yet. Three Grunts, by the way. Three Grunts. I don't think he did enough with the three Grunts. Of course he's creeping with them now. Grunts are going to be useless later on. Or are they, actually? Because we might see Spellbreakers. Very likely that we'll see Spellbreakers. So the Grunts still have a, a use besides creeping. Well, Footmen don't. Footmen don't have any use uh, late game. They die so fast to the Spirit Walkers, they're just uh, walking XP tomes. So skipping Footmen, I mean, it means you can't creep as effi effi efficiently. It means you can't harass, kill tier 2 buildings, kill burrows. But you save a lot of gold that you can spend in, uh, into these casters. <laughs> Blade Master is level 2, 88 crit, it was beautiful. Shadow Hunter is also level 2 already though. Here we still have uh, lower level heroes, maybe? Maybe we'll see a creep deck here, they're both pretty close to each other. Beast Master, what item did he pick up? Uh, wait, what? Oh, there it is. Lionhorn of Stormwind, oh, what a shitty, crappy, shitty item, meanwhile, Halsing. Creeping over here, he got the healing wards, uses one. But here comes the Archmage, he, can, he cancels the healing ward. This grunt is really low on hit points. He slows a few grunts, but Speed Skull gets him out of there. This the sorcerer's under attack. He, he kills his Murloc, and he gets out of there. We have a Berserker now for, uh, what's his name? For Johnny Cage. And a Tome of IQ, he picks it up. Both of these heroes still level 2. Uh, Blade Master close to level 3. Now, of course, he has an XP advantage because he actually built Grunts and he can creep with Grunts. He was uh, able to creep faster, earlier, better. There's, there are the Spellbreakers. Oh, do we have a fight here? Blade Master going for the Berserker. Berserker going down so fast. And uh, Blade Master level 3, what does he pick? Does he pick level 2 crit? Does he pick level 2 Windwalk? We have Invis, we have Adapt Sorceresses already, by the way. Before he even reached 50 supply. Uh, a dispel there, but uh, this, these grunts, these raiders are totally slowed. The piggy here with the flank attack means that these uh, hard, hard to get dispelled. This raider does go down. The archmage is still far away from level 3 though. There's another speed school. How many speed schools does he have? Well, no more. That was the last one for now. And these peons, they, they didn't get speed schooled. These poor peons, they're all dying. There's two dead speed school, uh, peons. These piggies don't get ensnared. This, these peons get away. And it is 50 supply against 47. Shadowhunter not level 3 yet, but neither are these heroes here. Two more spellbreakers out. We have a little sheep over there. <laughs> Another spellbreaker being built. This piggy going for the scout. He sees the raiders coming. Does he get the Overseer? No, he doesn't even get the Overseer. He just needs a few more creeps to get these uh, levels. But Helsing doesn't give him the time. Helsing going for the Priest. Overseer is dead. But the Archmage still needs like uh, 23 more XP. There's a Speed Scroll out. He kills one unit. Speed Scrolls out. Blade Master picks up the uh, Replenishment Potion. And I think he killed the Forest Soul Berserker as well. Does not pick up the Tome of Agility though, plus two. What's the Shadow Hunter doing over here? Why is he at the other side of the human army? <laughs> He's not a Blade Master. Blade Master kills the last Forest Soul Shadow uh, Forest Soul Berserker as well. So that's really nice here. Just denying these uh, heroes from leveling up. If we just got those two of the, like the Blade Master got like all no, you got two Forest Soul Berserkers and the item there. 
if Johnny Cage got those two Berserkers, the Blade Master, the Beast Master would be level 3 and the Archmage level 3. If you just got one of them, the Archmage would be level 3, maybe, yeah. Uh, Beast Master still level 2 though. There's not a healing ward. I Johnny Cage cannot fight uphill anyway. Halsing went over 50, is a 57 supply. This, uh, the Spellbreaker might go back. The Raider takes so much damage so fast. Is that enough for level 3? That's enough for level 3 Archmage, but the Spellbreaker is, is still super low. Shadowhunter now level 3 though. And we all know level 3 Shadowhunter is insanely strong. Uh, this, this Sorceress is about to die. The Spellbreaker as well. And uh, this one is safe for now. We have Militia coming in, just killing Raiders, but the Spirit Walkers, they don't wanna... You know, they kill... We have four Spirit Walkers. Five even, if he uses this one, they kill this, the militia so duper, super duper fast. And there's uh, two, a piggy and a water elemental in a range of each other. He can dispel both, but he only used one dispel and missed the piggy even. Beastmaster in trouble. He's level 3 now though. Looks like uh, Holsing's army is so strong here. With the Kodo, with the Blade Master, with the Shadowhunter. Oh, Shadowhunter doesn't have infinite mana left. He only has about one healing, maybe two more, if the battle prolongs a little bit, extends a little bit. This militia is dead. There was this uh, healing wave, he's kind of out of a healing wave, he has uh, 53 mana. Blade Master level 4 now, so no matter what he picked before, he picks the other skill. Now this uh, sorceress in danger, oh, where's the micro on this sorceress? He moves them all away. The raiders just, oh, he has a guard tower defending here, the sorceresses. This, uh, this raider is dead. Can, can he somehow defend? Can uh, Johnny Cage somehow defend? Helsing does retreat. This Kodo, he has two Kodos. One eight is Spellbreaker. Players' forces are under attack. What is this guy doing here? A peon. <laughs> A peon. Beautiful position for the peon. These Kodos are being slowed. Oh, he uses another healing wave. Can he fight here without the healings, healing waves? Both the Blade Master and the Shadowhunter are out of mana, but these Spellbreaker are so low. Two of them in the deep red. Michael back, the Blade Master just hunting them down. And he's he's taking it down. I'm out. No, yes. Kills one Spellbreaker. And the Beast Master, of course, Michael back here. Spellbreaker here, pretty long hit points. Kodos, uh, Blade Master, 168 critical strike and kills the Spellbreaker there. And. Uh, rawr, rawr. Wait, what? Oh, the Frenzy, of course. Blade Master pretty low. There's there's the info potion. There's a TP as well. So Helsing can always get out. He might have to. Beastmaster has the boots of speed. He should be fine. All oh, this June's so red on the hit points. And there's a TP out. That's what happens when there's no more healing wave. It seems like uh Johnny Cage just turned it around in the last the last uh, minute or so. This last fight. Just there was no man on the Shadow Hunter and suddenly. Suddenly, his army wasn't that strong anymore. You think these Kodos... Do they still have units? Yeah, they just devoured one unit. Now they're empty. But he says... Uh, he has a lot of gold, though. This game's still anyone's game. Book of the Dead, not that great against someone that has so many Spirit Walkers. With mana for this spell, of course. How many do we have? One, two, three, four... Okay, only four? Still, that's a lot of Spirit Walkers... Uh, no, you don't just use your Book of the Dead. And the Blade Master going for the Beast Master. Do you have a TP for Johnny Cage? We do. Here he comes with the uh, Spears Walkers. There's the Info Potion already used by the Archmage. This uh, Berserker is focused by Spears Walkers. Interesting, but uh, doesn't take that much damage from them. Sources does go down. The Piggy and the Water Elemental. Very low hit points. They both go down very fast. Blade Master is the only way to level 5. Not yet. But there's not a Healing Wave. Does not heal the Blade Master though. He has one more healing wave available and then a mana potion. Blade Master. <laughs> is the Blade Master just going to die? Hello, Blade Master. Okay, there's that uh, Obese Master though. He is dead. 180 critical strike. Archmage level 4. Bla oh, Blade Master did die after all. And, well, that's probably great for Johnny Cage. Uh, Helsing in a bit of trouble here. Is he going to rebuy the Blade Master with his peon? I think so, but is it going to be too late? He's losing so many units here. The dragon even helping out. Uh, actually, no, he's now attacking nothing. Okay, the sources is Michael back. The Kodo eats the Spellbreaker, so tasty. 
and he is Michael Beck as well. The Spirit Walker is is that okay? This code is probably going to die as well. Then we'll get a level five Arc Mage. What can a Shadow Hunter do? He wakes up the creeps. Please help, creeps. We need your aid. And the creeps they listen to him. Uh, first, I hit him in the face because they are angry for being woken up. But now they're gonna help him. Uh, Blade, actually, they don't even help him. Okay, these, some of the others do help him. The Blade Master is totally going to die again. We have uh, no more healing wave. And that has to be GG. That has to be it. That, I, I can't imagine this is not GG. Sure, there's no Beastmaster. But the Beastmaster is almost out already. Right. Well, actually, he's still staying in the game. Staying in the game. Maybe if he gets his Blade Master back again. Get some lucky crits on, on the Archmage. Kill the Archmage. Then the Beastmaster. And then win the game. That's his plan. Uh, Johnny Cage, of course, level 5 Archmage gets no more XP, but he's still creeping. Of course, the more creeps you kill, you still get the gold, you still get the items, and you still make it harder for your opponent to creep because there's less creeps left on the map. Mm. And the level 5 Shadowhunter would actually be pretty scary. There's the Beastmaster, he bought the Clarity, he still has the Book of the Dead. Maybe he can use it. There's only three Spirit Walkers, of course not at the start of the fight. But killing a Spirit Walker or two and making sure the other one is out of mana. Uh, then you can use the Book of the Dead and just, you know, win the game. He's winning already, but, you know, win the game even more. This Burrow is going down. Peon dies. Bureau dies. This peel. Oh, there's a Kodo. What is the Kodo doing here? He's, he eats the sorceress. Archmage is kind of in the in the back or in the front or however you want to call it. He was moved away. The Berserker though did get ensnared. Where's Mr. Blade Master? He's almost back. Is this the comeback of the century? Is this gonna be a comeback? Oh, there he used the Book of the Dead in the back of the base. No spirit walkers close by. And they cannot really get there. There's a piggy defending the entrance. Spirit walkers go anyway. They're like, we have to save the peons. There is the uh, ethereal. Let, let's save the peons. Nice dispel. But uh, what is he losing here? He's losing everything here at the same time. Uh, level 5 set under though. Now he no, nothing is going to die for the rest of the game for Orc. But we have a bear. We have no birdie. We have a bear. Misha. Level 2 bear. It does so much damage. It's going to kill everything with his bash and... Uh, and there's there it is, GG. Altar and the burrow are the burrow is done. The altar is almost done. There's the archmage. Okay, no, no barracks again. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> it's probably standard timing for the barracks. On this map. And um, beautiful. This, this game is beautiful. Let's see if we see this blade master. That's a blade master, alright. Let's see if we uh, see more peons. We see more peons. This peon, uh, peasants, I mean. This peon is scouting. This peon is scouting. However, Blade Master is gonna be way too late to reach all the way over here. It's a cross map. So far, the Blade Master doesn't walk that fast. He doesn't have a horse like the Archmage. Sure, it's the same movement speed as the horse. But still, he, uh, he'd like to have a horse. There's a second burrow. So, again, slow tag. No shop, it seems like. So, he's going for harassment. Archmage creeping over here. Do we have a footman? First footman, almost out. Here, uh, here come the militia. It's muddy, muddy takes so much damage. Muddy is going down already. Muddy is dead. He's going for the rock golem now. Second water elemental. Rock Golem is... Oh, this peasant! He lo loses a peasant to, create, to the creeps. Vampiric Aura means that he won't lose any more peasants during this creep camp. Because his peasants are healing so much. They heal for two health with each attack. Each attack against these guys. And they get out with uh, pretty decent health. Okay, did build a shop over here. He's creeping over here. And he will get level, uh, well, he will get a nice item. 
He won't get level 2 just yet from this level 5 Overseer, of course. Archmage is going to creep over here. Didn't get XP Tome. He's pretty sad. I forgot. How much XP does a level 5 give? 96 plus... Ninety-two. Okay, ninety-two XP for the level five. He's now at hundred and eighty-eight XP. Heals up. Uh, that peon scout, by the way, did it scout cross position? Did it scout the human base? Doesn't look like it. it just scouted uh, this position because if the human was over here, he would go harass over here. Do doesn't care that the human is there. He scouts now with the grunt. He knows that the human is at the bottom left. This footman here is uh, scouted. Archmage going for these nulls. Ah. Some more footman being built. He does like uh, he does play pretty standard this game. A town is under siege. The town is under siege. We have two circlers, one was bought here, the second one was probably got gotten from these creeps. And he buys boots, but so did the Archmage, right? Yeah, Archmage also has boots. So Archmage is going for this creep camp. This, this green one. Maybe he can get level 3. He's, uh, oh, he's killing the shop. Gets the shop. I saw them attack the shop earlier, but I didn't realize that he would actually get the shop. The Blade Master is going to kill this footman, but what's he going to lose in return? There's one burrow being built. The footman doesn't have defense. Oh, he's creeping this with militia. Oh, he finds a grunt. He almost surrounded the grunt, but not quite. He tries again. This time he does get a grunt at 60 XP. Is that enough for level 3? Uh, no. But he's gonna be super duper close. There goes a the footman. And there's a cancel on the burrow. Uh, that's a still level 1 water elemental. He gets the, the grunt. Loses a peon. Blade Master is level 2 now as well, by the way. Archbase just needs any one more kill. And he's level 3. And then he can cancel tier 2 so easy peasy. Or this burrow maybe even. A player's forces are under attack. Blade Master by staff. Is he going for this creep camp? This one's still alive. He just needs to kill one one of them. Just a level 1 null is enough. He's going for it. He's going for the level 1 null. But here comes the Blade Master. Can he get the level 1? Blade Master steals it. Doesn't want the Archmage to get level 3. The Blade Master trying to kill the footman. Tries to kill the other footman now. Uh, both these footmen can be killed, but it's gonna take the blade master a little bit, just a little bit. He uses a wind walk. Okay, he kills one, goes for the second one. Footman here, blo uh, footman block. No, he stops. And the argument is finally gonna get level three here. Is it still going to be in time? Remember, there was a slow tag here for Org. No, uh, BC here is probably already up. The blade master already uh, defending, moving this way across the map. The Archmage was level 3 too late. Couldn't cancel the bestiary. A player's forces are under attack. This grunt. Maybe he's sur he can surround him. He doesn't. Five footmen here. He lost two of them or three? I forgot. Three? Or maybe even more. Definitely not more than four. 84 critical strike there. Since he still has five footmen, I guess he only lost two of them. Uh, this grunt here is blocking the Archmage. Oh, he's gonna be surrounded again by militia. No, this grunt will survive for now. Archmage bought towers, by the way. Is this a towers? Definitely it is. Is that a fire lord? A fire lord! Defensive tower also going up. Uh, Shadow Hunter is in defensive position. Wyvern being built here. Wyvern as a defense against the towers. Where did the Blade Master go? There he is. Shop is going up. A player's forces are under attack. Well, the footmen they do have defend. Even Wyvern can kill them. The Shadow Hunter here. Going for the, the Fire Lord with the red. Can he summon a second uh, lava spawn? He has mana. But he's he's dead now. He's dead. But the second lava spawn will help out a lot. With two lava spawns, this one uh, being focused, maybe micro a little bit. Where's the micro on the lava spawn? He dies 78 critical strike. This footman is all uh, this grunt is also dead. And uh, the wyvern here going for the 
defending food bandit. We have two towers being built here. I'm not sure if it's raised of, of the burrow. Maybe he's just planning to kill the burrow anyway. It's definitely not in range of the town hall. Another wyvern out. And uh, they are going for the tower. This tower is going down fast. He, yeah, can't even repair it. The next one is also going down fast. We have a raccoon sitting over here. It's actually a footman. The footman here fighting against the grunts. The grunts maybe need some micro on the grunts. This grunt is about to die. This other grunt. Also very low on hit points. 94 hit points. And uh, he might lose against that one footman. Archmage here is hexed and speed scroll used. Another hex is available as Archmage is just going to die. This is going to be a GG. Archmage does die. This grunt also died. And the Blade Master starts back home to defend his base. The Wyvern did a good job killing the towers. And there it is, GG. So it's uh, Blade Master against Pal Paladin again. Is he going to kill the Paladin early? Like he did the first map. The first map was actually won here by Johnny Cage when he went Paladin first. Uh, but he lost the Paladin early game. He lost his Blood Mage a bit later. He went Blood Mage second. But he still won the game. By just killing more units than losing units. Footman scouting. Uh, we do have a shop. So he's definitely going to plan to creep this first. Before he goes out on the map. The Paladin here. Here he comes. He's going for this creep camp first. Now he's going for this one first. He's going for this one first. With the militia. I think he's glad that the Blade Master is actually creeping and not harassing. Blade Master sells the TP, buys the circlet, and he finds the Blade Master creeping over here. The Paladin, of course. He he gets a ring of protection. Is that the item he wanted against the Blade Master? Maybe. Maybe that's just what you want. The Blade Master just comes in, focuses your uh, Paladin. More DPS on your Paladin hardly matters because his uh, DPS is really so low. He's melee. He's a melee hero. Slow attack speed. Slow. Uh, a low damage. Yeah, he just does nothing. Slippers of agility. That's a pretty shitty item. Does he pick it up? At least he does pick it up. You will hear the blade master. He got a claws of attack. That's pretty nice to kill the paladin a bit faster. Kills his other guy and a cloak of shadows picked up. His footman taking a lot of damage, he wholly lights him. He's just uh, getting everything over here. Easy peasy. Lumber mill going up. What does that mean? Does it mean something? I don't think he's going to towers. Slippers of agility for armor stacking. I mean, sure. It's a uh, point, what is it? Point six armor. Or 0 0.9, 0 0.9 armor. No, point. Yeah, point 0.9. Five footmen and a blood uh, and a paladin just creeping. Here, the blade master. He's behind and creeping. Of course, he doesn't have uh, militia, but still, you're being outcrapped by a paladin. Hello. He does pick uh, devotion or level one, by the way. Not. The other skill, not the, uh, what do you call it? Divine, divine shield. There's a blacksmith. We will get some riflemen later. Blade Master is level 3 now. Now is the time to harass, right? He's gonna creep more? No. He's done creeping. It's time to hunt the paladin down. It doesn't have divine shield. But the paladin already creeping to level 4. If he gets level 4, of course, he gets divine shield. Uses a nice uh, replenishment potion, but he's full on hit points. Not full mana though, but here comes the blade master. Oh, he finds him. He finds the footman. The footman. Oh, can he only light the footman? Yes, he can. Does the blade master win this fight? Five footmen and a paladin against the blade master. Don't know if the blade master wins this fight. It seems like he's losing. Two grunts come in to help. Paladin does have cloak of shadows, by the way. It is nighttime, so he can always hide. Does not have boots like the, wait the blade master did he buy boots? I think he buy bought boots, which is fine I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, this rifleman in trouble! This rifleman in deep shit. No, the blade master lets him go. Rifleman John gets out. Uh, this girl. Oh, this footman! This footman is so dead. 
96 critical strike. Oh, holy light. Never mind. There's a dust as well. But the paladin is out of mana now. Imagine if the slippers of agility was not a useless slippers of agility, but a mantle of intelligence, for example. You would have one more holy light now. Maybe two more even, if you count the mana regeneration. There's a ton of agility there. Blade Master, go for this wizard. This wizard, he's so dead. This wizard, he's dead. Tome of Agility is such a great uh, tome. Here as well, two tomes of Agility. This is insane. This Blade Master is gonna do so much damage. Oh, he doesn't pick it up. Okay, okay, never mind. Blade Master just with a normal 32 Agility. Doesn't go for the 33. Maybe he'll pick it up later. If the Paladin doesn't pick it up. But there's the Blood Mage. And here are the Riflemen. And he's, he's building towers. He's getting upgrades. Just like the first game. No casters. Just mass Riflemen. Does Helsing. Does he adapt to it? Does he build Spirit Walkers? No Spirit Walkers. He does get the Berserker Strength this game. Paladin is far from level 4 though. So he does not have Divine Shield. Does he not see him? I thought he went into Scout. But I guess he just barely missed him. He just barely missed Johnny Cage creeping this. Or is he now going for this other creep camp? Looks like he is. He's trying to steal the super item. Tome of IQ, that's a nice tome. Oh no, he's not going for it. He's just searching. He's just searching. He just missed Johnny Cage by a hair. Creeping over here. Now he's going for this super item. What is going to be? Boots of Quad, the last Vampiric Aura, Sobe Mask, Rope of the Magi. What is it? Oh, it's the use most useless one. Actually, the second most useless one. The Rune Bracers is the most useless one. This one, plus one armor. I mean, sure, you can pretend to be the Paladin with your Devotion uh, Aura. But that's about it. Just pretending to be a Paladin is the best you can do. What do we get here? Of course, oh, he gets the same <laughs> one. Even more useless for him because he already has one. But, uh, yeah, there's much less great items for him. He just needed a mana up. Oh, the Blade Master gets a Tome of IQ. He's so smart now. He's going for the Blood Mage, but Holy Light saves the Blood Mage. And uh, I don't think a Blade Mask can do too much here. Paladin is almost level 4. Oh, this Rifeman is so dead. GG Rifeman, maybe set his relic point somewhere in your base. Please don't lose more Rifeman like this. A player's forces are under attack. Kills Bion. He is going for the Burrows, maybe. He's going for the Burrows. This Rifleman against a Raider. Is he going to save the Rifleman? The Paladin got blocked here by the Grunt. But there's a Banish on the Rifleman. He could maybe save this other one. Saves it. And uh, I'm not sure if I like this position here for uh, Johnny Cage. Hulsing, uh, well, Hulsing is about to lose a Raider. There's a holy, holy Wave thing, but it's only level 2. There's another Banish on this Rifleman. This Rifleman dies. Uh, did the Raider survive? Yeah, I think so. The healing wave just uh, healed him up so much. Did he steal some mana? Shadow Hunter is definitely out of mana. Blade Master also out of mana. There's not another holy light on this uh, Riveman. Still no TP out here for for Johnny Cage. Uh, I don't feel like he's winning this fight. And there another Riveman does go down. His footman is probably also dead. Let's look at these bodies. See one dead grunt. I see like. What, four, four Rifemen, three Rifemen, two Rifemen, actually only two. He used Peace Call, what a mistake, I think there was a mistake. Okay, we see two dead Rifemen and we see four dead Footmen. That's what I see. Rifemen R20 upgraded. He still does not sell the stupid Slippers of Agility. I guess he likes the extra armor. Comes the Blade Master. He's almost level 4 as well. The Shadow Hunter needs to get level 3. Why is he not creeping to level 3? I don't understand. A player's forces are under attack. He's building an expansion. Okay. Still some mana here from the Blade Master. And he gets hexed. He was about uh, done stealing mana anyway. This, this Rifeman is dead. This Rifeman also going down. By the way, we do see... Lots of Raiders this game, unlike last game, uh, where he lost against Johnny Cage with uh, the Paladin Mass Rifleman. He went uh, like no no grunts at all that game. 
This game has so many grunts. Here come the militia. There's no spirit walkers though. They skipped spirit walkers completely. Okay. Just grunts and raiders. It's just like, you know what? Spirit walkers, they died to the riflemen too fast. Just go grunts and raiders. They will win the fight for me. This does mean the militia are super strong though. Oh, Shadowhunter wants to creep this. He's level 3 already, by the way. He needs mana. Why does he only have 90 mana? This is insane. Baitmaster is going for the rifleman over here. And the Paladin is level 4 now. 2 1 upgrades here on the rifleman now. The Grunts and the Raiders still 0 0. Johnny Cage, uh, his army supply is almost the same now again as uh, Helsing's. This uh, Blood Mage is in a bit of trouble. Yes, uh, Banish though. There comes the Kodo. Banish is 75 mana. You can just, uh, you do need mana. Maybe that's why he didn't use mana, uh, get a clarity on his Shadowhunter. So he cannot get his mana stolen here by the Blood Mage. Here come the Militia. And like I said, they're super strong against uh, an army without Spirit Walkers. Code in a bit of danger. But the Militia won't be Militia for very long. 53 supply against 49. Uh, Johnny Cage went over 50. He's called a kind of in a weird position. He cannot rejoin the army. He's just hiding from the rifleman. The rifleman killed Koda so fast. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if I like the Kodo. Like a war mill to make a Kodo. I think I like the Spirit Lodge better for a Spirit Walker. Just like one or two, just for the Spirit Link. Blade Master is going to say hello. Built a farm here and a shop. I don't think he scouted this expansion yet. Expansion is definitely paying off right now. Or he's starting to. So uh, Johnny Cage is definitely on the time clock timer. Lo okay, he's gonna scout now with the militia and then he realizes uh oh, I'm out of time. He's gonna hunt down this Kodo. He knows it's still over here. Does he? The Kodo sees the Rifleman, but the Rifleman doesn't see the Kodo. Because I guess the Kodo has better eyes. He has these, these void eyes. Oh, he's gonna creep here. And he's going for the flank attack. Well, the item will definitely go to uh, Johnny Cage. Hello, Chaco Ka Chaquito. Uh, hey, Verkson. Blade Master, go, uh, go, go for the Rifleman with three Raiders coming into the fight first. The Grunts kind of the trickle in. A bit late. The Kodo is banished, but his aura is still effective. He wants to eat though. If he's banished, he cannot eat, but he can be uh, focus fired now very easily. Walks into uh, the mercenary camp. This guy gets her healing. Healing! Uh, this, ra this raider is, this grunt is dead. The Kodo eats a, a hexed uh, rifle man. There was his baby seal rifle man. Must taste so good. The three rifle men here dying in su succession. Very fast. The paladin is, uh, he does have one more holy light, uses it. He buys some more mercenaries to fight for him because, uh, you know, this rifle man is super low on hit points. That's why he buy a bottom. This uh, paladin has a greater healing potion, which is gonna help him out a lot over here. He uses it. He doesn't even have mana for a uh, divine, divine thing. He could steal some mana. Okay, there it is. He has the divine thing. And uh, this raider is dead. Uh, Blade Master is killing a rifle man over here. Oh, never mind. Time to kill the paladin again. Where's the banish? There's a banish, but what's he gonna do after he's done being banished? He's going to die, and so is probably his chance to win the game. Johnny Cage's chance to win the game. There it is, GG. No Paladin this this game. If he gets Paladin, I think he has no chance. Like close position Turtle Rock. Paladin is a hero you need at least level three, and uh, if the Blade Master finds your Paladin early game, it's just gonna be very hard. To get level 3 and uh, win the game. We'll see. Uh, also, Mount King is the same story, really. Mount King also needs some levels. He needs level 3. Blood Mage. I mean, I've. I haven't seen anyone play Blood Mage first against Orc since Yumiko. Tried it a few times. But I don't think Yumiko had much success with it. So there it is. There's the Arc Mage. Ready to work. No, that's, that's not the Arc Mage. The Arc Mage doesn't work. He uses magic to work for him. He just sits on his horsey and he's just uh, ordering everyone around. 
There's a footman. Archmage and footman. Archmage and footman. And archmage and footman. What do we have here? Blade master and grunts. Again, slow tech. He likes his slow techs. Maybe he's just afraid of tower rushes. Fire Lord tower rushes. Slow tech is just so much easier to hold off a tower rush. If you have the second burrow up, everything's so much easier. The AM has horse horsepower, like over 9,000 hit points. Or horsepower. <laughs> well, uh, did not neither player scout close position? What? They both scout the other side of the map, apparently. Maybe they don't know you can uh, position, uh, you can uh, spawn close position, because I think on WV Arena on the ladder map you can't spawn close position. I'm not sure about that, but the Blade Master sells TP, buys a circlet, gonna creep this level five ogre. You know the Archmage is creeping over here. Got uh, uh, gloves of haste. Uh, I usually don't like this item too much until you get some more damage items on your Archmage, like claws of attacks. Then, uh, then the extra 15% attack speed matters a little bit more. Also, uh, it's gonna be nice for the Mountain King, but I'm not sure if Johnny Cage is even going Mountain King second. Blade Master, I'm not sure what item he got, but oh, he got a boost of speed. That's a nice item to get with a discount. Uh, and he's going for the Archmage, but he's very low on hit points. He cannot get the Archmage, he can do a little bit of damage. But that's it, he doesn't have items. Do we have a shop? Where's the shop? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Where is the shop? It's so late. This shop is so late. It cannot be cancelled. Is he just gonna write? Uh, he knows the Blade Master is super low on hit points. He sees the shop. Does he see the shop? Right click the shop. Just right click the shop. Okay, there is a there. The Blade Master. Ooh, he's so low on hit points. And here comes the militia. Oh, he's going for towers. He is attacking while towering. Okay. Uh. Okay, maybe not the towers. He's definitely trying to get the shop. First goes for the burrow, and that may be the shop. This footman is taking a bit of damage, but the burrow is going down faster than. Oh, and the Archmage kills the Blade Master one on one. Proof that the Archmage is just stronger than the Blade Master in a one on one fight. Uh, there goes the peasant. This grunt is surrounded. Now the shop, not that they ported anymore. Now they killed the Blade Master. The Archmage is so low now. Does he have his own shop? Does he? Because the Blade Master is supply blocked. Uh oh. I thought the Blade Master died before the Burrow died, but maybe I was wrong. But if it did, I think he could have clicked that Blade Master button and summoned the Blade Master. Blade Master would have been back already. Uh, there's Arcane Vault going up here for Mr. Uh, Johnny Cage. 27 spy against 18. Footman fighting against Grunts. When is this Burrow going up? It's going up anytime. Nepokerkal. Uh, these footmen just fighting against guns, just stack moving. <laughs> this footman might get back. Of course, it doesn't matter. You know, Johnny Cage will use a healing scroll. His, he can. He, th these footmen taking damage is free healing. Uh, free, you know, he, he it doesn't cost him anything because he's gonna use a healing scroll anyway for his archmage. So and getting healing more footmen with your archmage doesn't cost you any extra. Well, the guns. They do take 33 gold healing self each. Beast here going up. He does see that. Maybe he can cancel it if he buys a second hero. But I... Oh. Uh, yeah, he did heal those footmen. Don't think so, though. I think... Uh, actually, he's going for it. Blade Master is almost out, though. These footmen, I don't think they can do it by themselves. This water elemental will help a lot. Beast Master. Maybe we'll see Beast Master. Uh, these footmen take some damage. This beast here, though, if he can't, nah, these footmen, they're just taking too much damage. The Blade Master is just gonna kill footmen here. Two, a uh, second water elemental, actually, yeah, the second water elemental will be enough, I think. Water elementals, they, oh, the first one about to expire, but there it is. Nice cancellation there on this, uh, beast theory. And where's the, uh, there's the beast master. Base forces are under attack. The base is closed. Footman, what are you doing? No, footman, you're so stupid. That's the stupidest footman I've seen my entire life. Arcane Sanctum is uh, going up. Beastmaster with two water elementals. And where are the piggies? I'm going for the burrow. I'm not sure where the piggies are. I see two more footmen. Does he have... Uh... Oh, there's one. Hidden next to the water elemental there. The 84 critical strike was nice. Beastmaster is definitely going to die here, by the way. Uh, the burrow as well, but 
No, the bro. Actually, now that the Beastmaster's dead, a lot of DPS is lost. Uh, is this still enough, though? Look at this. It's going down hardly. And this footman is dead. The burrow is going to stay up, but housing doesn't have any lumber to build any tier 2. The beast area got cancelled. This grunt is probably going to survive thanks to that healing wave. And the piggy goes uh, poof. Archmage does have boots, by the way. He's, he should be fine. Here we have uh, double arcane sanctum going up like normal, like, you know, we expect. Samuro. Of course, the war mill had to be built there. Uh, not just for extra lumber, which is nice, but it's uh, if he gets towers now, he needs defense. He needs a tower, he needs demolishers. He builds a headhunter. Okay, headhunters, of course, as well are great against towers. Blade Master playing so aggressive, but I don't think he can get the arguments. He even used the dust. Is that uh, nice? I I don't see what this does do does. Besides, it was only level one windwalk anyway. So, okay, yeah. Do we have sources? We do have a priest. We we saw earlier this fight all as well. Archmage solo against Blade Master solo over here. Remember, guys. Archmage won this fight. The Blade Master definitely shouldn't be overconfident because uh, Archmage will win it again. Nice healing cells here on the ground. Shakti Lar level 1, Blade Master level 2. We have some sorceresses. Indeed, plus it's 2 versus 1 because of the horse. The horse with a bite attack or his, his hoof attack. Should be pretty strong, but he looks a bit skinny. It's not like a super strong horse. He's not like a muscled horse. Is he going for an expansion? I wouldn't I wouldn't blame him if he just went for an expansion. Something like Soccer Chamiko would do is uh, yeah, just go for the expansion. This militia guy might go the way. Piggy here is being eaten by the turtles. Uh, and there goes this turtle. Beastmaster level 2, Archmage level 3. Do we have tier 2 going up yet? There's the Beastiary. There's the Spirit Lodge. There's this tower. Raiders, Grunts. Beautiful. And what do we have here? Piggy and a Water Elemental. He's going for this creep camp, but what do we have over here? A Blade Master. Do we have Birdie? We do have a Birdie this time. Didn't go for Misha this time. Blade Master kind of hurt. Doesn't have even any healing salves. The Shadowhunter has one more healing salve. And uh, some level 1 healing waves, of course, because he's still only level 2. I th I'm not sure uh, if Helsing can contest this. Well, he's trying. He's, he's getting these turtles in the back. He's using a clarity. The Blade Master is using the one healing self he had. And ooh, not sure who got that. It looked like the Blade Master got it. This uh, this fo uh, footman goes down. The radius is uh, slow though. This grunt is also slow. There's a healing wave. This is the last one. No, there's plenty more healing waves actually. Uh, he did just did he just use the healing thing? No, I don't think so. This uh, footman goes down. So that's all oh, the footman. What's this? Uh, oh, he did get the turtle by the way. Who got the item? Not the blade master. So it must be one of the human heroes. Yeah, there it is. Uh, or one of those at least. He has a great healing potion and one of mana stealing. I forgot which one he got over here. So, uh, but he got the other one, the other item over here. Oh, militia! What are they doing? Is he gonna build a expansion over there, or were they just sent in to help? I think they were just sent in to help, but they're no longer needed. He can just win the fight without the militia. He's building a farm over here. Oh, Blade Master kills a peasant. This peasant also taking so much damage, he goes down. That means the farm cannot be built. Cancel on the farm. But he doesn't need to farm anymore because now he has two supply to build another unit. He does build another farm here. It's birdie in the air. Beast Master level two and a half. The Shadow Hunter. Level 2.8 or 2.9 even. 
46, black is 44. I really would have liked to see that expansion earlier for Johnny Cage. Don't think uh, Helsing could have stopped it. Don't think he could have pressured it. And now it's just Helsing is slowly getting back in this game. He has his tier 2 units up now. Raiders, Spirit Walkers, he has a decent supply army. He's only 5 supply behind, but that will change in a few moments. Unless Johnny Cage is going over 50. Scroll of the Beast. And uh, we get this item here for Helsing as well, of course. And this could be a game turning item. Is this a comeback super item? Cloak of Flames is. Mm, I guess it's it's well, it's all right maybe. To, it's not a super item though. You want one of the auras. Level three Beastmaster now though. What's the Shadow Hunter? Is he? He's level three. Okay. Water Metal is going down. Piggy's so angry. He's screaming. Uh, he's taking, being taken out though. What's that dispel? Because the piggy's pretty low. Water and elemental salt. Oh, there goes the water elemental. The Kodos, he ate a sandwich spellbreaker. He speed scrolls out. The blade master going for the priest. Where's the Michael on the priest? No Michael. He, I feel like there's a mistake here for Jordan Cage. Every time he does this, uh, doesn't Michael casters individually. He just moves them in a the group. There goes another spellbreaker. This spellbreaker here is uh, surrounded, taking damage from the peons and the grunts. Taking a lot of damage. I haven't seen uh, Johnny Cage kill a single unit this fight, by the way. Uh, and this guy is also not dying. He used a greater healing potion. This Kodo might be the first casualty here for Helsing. Uh, Beastmaster is invisible. The Kodo is not being microed, by the way. He's not even trying to save him. There's not a healing wave on the Blade Master. The Kodo. Actually, no one is focusing the Kodo. So, oh, well, these piggies are. Now the Kodo is down. And the other orc units are all pretty low as well. 192 critical strike. How much more healing waves do we have? The Beastmaster, super low on hit points. Uh, but the Blade Master, oh, he's dead. He's dead. Shadow Hunter has no more mana. And these orc units are killing the peasants. The Scroll of the Beast was used, by the way, at some point for a uh, human, but hardly hit any of his units. The Beastmaster, of course, had the Scroll of the Beast. So he was too far away from the casters. Even the Archmage didn't get the school. Oh, actually, it's, it's already done. Expired. The School of the Beast has expired. There goes the Raider. This Grunt is also slowed, and he's being killed. A player's forces are under attack. We have peons here. Slowed peons just standing. Look how many slows he's used on these peons. Five slows. He has, of course, plenty of uh, sorceresses, so it's not that much of a big deal. But it's uh, interesting. This tower here is going down. 56 supply against 37. He needs to, to get some lucky crits and kill that uh, Beastmaster before he can TP out. This is the only way to win this game. Some lucky crits. Oh, come on, he attacked the Beastmaster three times and not a single crit. Uh, that's not what I was talking about. And there it is, GG. Seven Hunter goes down. Did we finally see the Blood Mage? I want to see a Blood Mage first. I want to see a Blood Mage first. I haven't seen a Blood Mage first yet. We've seen Paladin first, we've seen Archmage first. We've seen... Actually, that's it. No Mountain King, no Blood Mage. There's an Arc Mage, okay. Arc Mage, good man. So far, pretty standard. He did play one or two games standard that he lost. The games he won were all... Actually, the, I guess the game of Turtle Rock, he played standard. And he won. There's a Blade Master, he's... His barracks is almost up. That's going to be a grunt, of course. Uh, again, a slow tag here for Helsing. Double burrow. Slow tag. Shop. Is the shop going up? Uh, this map, you don't need a shop, of course. At least not early. You could creep and then just heal up over here at the healing fountain. So usually orcs uh, build a shop later in this matchup uh, or in this on this map. Attack a little bit faster. The Archmage, Footman. They're gonna creep over here. What's the Blade Master gonna do? Is he gonna creep anything or is he going straight for a Ras? The Footman sees the Grunt, he sees the Blade Master, he knows what's up. He knows exactly what the Blade Master is up to. He buys the circlet, the Footman knows it. He sees the Bloodlust on the creeps. Archmage, though, already done creeping over here. Does not pick up the Tome. What's the Archmage doing? Is he, uh... Okay, I don't know. Okay, he sees the Blade Master going for this level 5. He buys the second circlet as well. Archmage does not pick up the Tome or the item. Hello! Archmage, hello! He is in such a hurry. 
Maybe the Blade Master will get a third circlet here for free. Uh, nice greater mana potion. Ar uh, Archmage level 2, but. Oh, there's a Water Elemental, hello! Okay, first gives him the Null, then the Water Elemental. He did get XP there, right? I'm pretty sure he did. 182, yeah. Blade Master might be able to pick it up later. If the Archmage doesn't realize, if uh, Turning Cage doesn't realize, hey, I have no no uh, circlet. I should have a circlet. Blade Master go for this Water Elemental, but he goes for the Ogre. 182 XP. Gets a Water Elemental, level 2. But he does not get the Ogre. Okay, the Ogre goes to the Archmage. The parry up will help him out because the Blade Master is, is focusing the Archmage right now. Cloak of Shadows picked up by the Blade Master. Kills another peasant. It's 50 gold for the Blade Master, but also means the Archmage doesn't have it. Cannot hide from the Blade Master. It's actually uh, a really good item. The Cloak of Shadows. Oh, there goes the Footman. On this map for the Archmage. There goes the Footman. Because you often uh, just are both at the Healing Fountain. And then if it's night. It's night right now. You can hide if you have the Cloak of Shadows. Right over here. So you can just hide here while the Orc is also over here. Uh, there is a Blade Master and Grunt just healing up. The Blade Master now using his Cloak of Shadows. And he uses the wind walk. Of course, the Archmage is fine. Uh, we soon see an expansion, by the way, which is interesting. This is definitely not standard. I definitely, you know, don't like that very much anymore. But maybe he can think, uh, maybe he can do something, something cheesy to defend it. The Blade Master going for this peasant. This peasant is at 14 hit points. He survives with three grunts here, being so annoying. This tower is going up slowly. Uh, one peasant dead. This peasant is still alive. He, ki he kills it. Oh, that peasant so dead. This peasant might go the way. The grunt fighting against the peasant over here. The grunt takes some damage. All the grunts are pretty low, but of course the healing fountain will take care of that. Again, the shop is not even up yet, but there's plenty of healing. The healing fountain does not run out of water, no matter what. And the blade master is just gonna creep this. He's, he will get level three, of course. There's only one, two peasants uh, building the town hall because the other ones still have their armor on, their militia armor. Uh, nice gloss of haste here. Archmage comes in. The grunts are kind of still hurt though. The tower is up, but it's just one arcane tower. There's no guard tower up yet. He does build a lumber mill right now. The footman here defending. Archmage should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Helsing can do much here with his hurt uh, grunt still. Blade Master is out of mana. Even this one arcane tower is enough for for the time being. Does he build double bestiary? I see one, I see one. Okay, just one. Uh, I like double bestiary a lot against the human fast expansion, just mass raiders. It's so hard to defend with, uh, you know, two bases. Defending two bases against mass raiders, you have to really surround them with like farms and other buildings, lumber mills. It is possible, but it's really difficult. These uh, these two grunts, oh, this grunt is about to die. Level three Archmage even, and he sees a Shadow Hunter coming. So the Archmage should be fine. This parry up, just uh, also helping him out so much. Footman, are they gonna go and kill this Null Brood? No, they're micro out. He's going. He's stacking pretty early. Uh, overlay is not working, is it? By the way, the resources. A player's forces are under no, it's not working. Interesting. It's probably not my fault. My my uh, side of the code always works perfectly. Yeah. Actually, for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's fine. Guess I'll open the observer board then, so you guys can see uh, resources, etc. Over here, uh, this footman is so dead. Arcane vault is going up. A player's forces are under attack. Guess the normal. Uh, is he going for the Drake? 
Wait, why is there that? Oh yeah, there was still the dead grunt from earlier. Archmage does have boots, he has a nice parry up. Uh, okay, it does go for a second spear lodge, so no, no double bestiary. And demolishers, wait, demolishers? Okay, let's see how this goes. Demolishers, he's gonna pressure the base with demolishers. Maybe even with towers. We could just build a few towers over here. A town is under siege. Right, they're out of range of the human towers. Okay, but uh, he's in trouble. Because here comes, the, here comes, what's his name, Johnny Cage. Into the base. Kills his burrow. Goes for the next burrow. Where, what's, how's he defending? He's not defending. He's going for the main base of human. He has two towers. He's building a third tower. He needs to repair the altar. Come on, peons. Come on, peons. He is rebuilding the altar. And meanwhile, the footman here going for the burrow. We have only two peons repairing this altar. The other ones are all ensnared. They might just want to hold position here. Well, they're under attack. Yeah, they do hold position. But this peasant does go down. And the others will slowly go down. But look, at these users are kind of tunneled. Uh, this third tower is not up yet. He only has level 1 masonry. He's not getting level 2 masonry. These militia are going to die very fast. But the burrow's all dead here. These peons, what are they doing? Repairing the altar? Okay. These peons maybe should be running for their lives. Uh, Wrath of Fire. Of course, does so much damage against peons. This base is still up and mining. So, uh... I've seen going for this... This... This main, of course. He's killing everything here. Does he have pillage? Does Helsing have pillage? Let's see his resources here. Helsing... Does have pillage. Okay, so he doesn't need a gold mine. He doesn't need the income. If he has pillage, he has plenty of income here. Militia, this uh, demolisher being cut apart here by the militia. They're just, but they're getting ensnared. And the demolisher does survive for now. The demolisher doesn't have pillage anyway. Who cares about the demolisher? We care about the uh, grunts and the raiders. They get all his money here. Where are all the peons? There's only one surviving. Only one peon survived. And uh, the tunnel here is going down fast. What is this? A nice ping over here. Well, well, we have some farms over here. Here comes the blade master going for the arcane sanctum. Can cancel this one, that's for sure. Can he cancel the second one? Probably. Uh, actually, there are five peons building it. This peon here takes a lot of damage. Can he kill it? He kills one peon. Second peon, 74 critical strike. This level one, isn't it? Yeah, I think he has level two wind walk, and there one of these guys is up, but you can just kill it with the raiders super duper fast. Uh, town hall being built over here next to this chocolate and the top of strength that are still there. The main of orc is dead, by the way. Uh, everything else here for orcs is also dying. Maybe you should upgrade the spiked barricades? Because he has a bunch of footmen just killing his buildings. And a panda as well, he's also melee. Uh, he's going for this town hall. Of course, he needs to get this town hall. And he will get this town hall. He will get this town hall. Oh no, there's a DP. That's not fair. You cannot defend. You cannot defend in a base race. That's not fair. Can't see supplies, gold and wood. Yeah, I know. It's some kind of bug. That's why I opened this uh, observer board. Hello Chaco, hello Hadoken 1887. Well, nice hit there, killing a militia guy. Just he's just splattered into blood. Uh, he should not keep attacking this position though. Just not a peasant. Come on, there's a better place to attack, Mr. Demolisher. Oh, he's he's running now for the water element from the water elemental. Archmage with the footman going back in. This town hall is still building over there. The panda defending. Oh, level four arc ma uh, blade master now. Level four blade master. He's going for the panda. Panda uses breath of fire, but he's he's going down fast. I think he's dead. I think the panda is dead. I'm not sure if he's in range of the shop, but he dies anyway. He's he doesn't have tier two anyway. He cannot buy healing potions. He's building more footman. He's going for the base race with the. Okay, he didn't even kill the shop. This is so weird to me. When you're base racing, kill the burrows, kill the peons, kill the the main. 
Then the shop maybe. Sometimes you want to even kill the shop over the main. The shop is just so important. And uh, well, Blade Master and everything, everything else is killing peons. We only have two raiders here. Did he lose the others? His grunt is slow on hit points. A lot of dead peasants. The Blade Master, you know, he doesn't care about four towers. If he can kill peasants. That is. Oh, Shadow Hunter doesn't have matter for another healing wave. Blade Master has to be a bit careful. And does he get this? I think he Why is this Demolisher still attacking this position? It, it should probably just kill the town hall or kill these peons over here. Or either case, not attack the ground where there's nothing there. We have, oh, here they are. Here are the other raiders. Okay, and this footman ensnared. Why no TP? He does have a TP. He's, uh, he's trying to win the base race. 36 supply against 26. There's a shop for Helsing. There's still this circlet and the Tome of uh, Strength. Maybe he can pick it up. Helsing definitely has a stronger army. He has a stronger army. He has uh, he has a base. He has a town hall. He has one peon. I think Helsing is going to win this actually. Shadowhunter is going... Uh, Archmage is dead! Archmage is dead! There's no TP! I mean he has TP but you cannot TP if you don't have a town hall. Archmage is straight up dead. And I think this is just GG. Oh, well, come on, man, Helsing. Just <laughs> surround him. Well, he dies anyway. And all the footmen here are going to die as well. He can cancel the shop, but this town hall, too much hit points. Great hall. I mean, seven footmen, just not good enough. GG. Author going up here. Barracks going up here for Johnny Cage. What hero do we see? Do we see an Archmage? Do we see a Paladin? Do we see a Mountain King? Do we see a Blood Mage? Well, it seems that he either likes his Archmage or his Paladin. He doesn't play Mountain King, does not play Blood Mage. This peon is working at it. Look at him. He's working so hard. These other peasants as well, they're working, they're, they're just doing their best, building these buildings. Do we get another blade mash? Maybe the last game in the series. He's like, surprise, Farseer, surprise, TC first, surprise. Uh, what other heroes are there? Shadowhunter first. No, it's a blade master. What do we have here? Archmage, yeah. Archmage against blade master. Some footmen, some more peasants. <laughs> Tough life for a peasant. It's it's a tough life, man. Look, they don't have any breaks. They just build the building, then they chop the, the trees down. Like, when do they take a break? They don't even sleep at night. No, the creeps they just sit here. They do nothing. <laughs> they just sit there and eat all day, and then at night they sleep. Being a peasant is a tough life. But at least you don't get killed by a random archmage with some footmen and militia. Uh, the footman here scouting in the blade master, of course, sells his TP, buys a circlet. Again, a slow tag. He just likes the slow tags. Double burrow, slow tag. No shop. Harassment from the start. Here's the blade master. He's on his way. Archmage finishes this creep camp. A circlet. He picks up the circlet. What a brilliant play to pick it up. Not leave it uh, on the floor for the Blade Master to pick it up, but instead just pick it up with their own Archmage. Uh, this is a play we haven't seen in at least over a game. So uh, I like this innovation here by uh, by Johnny Cage. The Blade Master fighting against a Water Elemental and two Footmen. I'm not sure if this is what he wants to do, but it seems that's what he wants to do. Well, the Archmage fighting against the Grunt. Okay, this Footman is be is my good back. This Footman in trouble. This footman is not in trouble anymore. We have two grunts walking here. We have a uh, archmage over here. I love Chaco stories. <laughs> also fight and die for cannon fodder. Yeah, the militia. Uh, hey, Dankasaurus Rex. Welcome back. Attack. 
Did Foggy win? I had to go to work when he was up 2 and 1. No. He got second place. Blade Master, go for the Forest Soul High Priest. The Forest Soul High Priest is. He's dead. What do we get? Santa Wars. This is a super item, of course. Archmage is still level 1. These guys are creeping the Murlocs. He should be level 2 soon here. Buys the boots, buys the. Uh, the dust, the dust is of course useful, not only against the Blade Master, but also against his, those eyes, those sentry wards. Does he, oh, he picks up, no, the Blade Master picked it up, right? Yeah, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength, not that insanely super good of an item. Both grunts get ensnared. Arkmay sees the XP, Toms. <laughs> the XP in his eyes, you can see the XP in his eyes. He wants the XP, he wants this grunt. So much XP. Grunt gets away. Snake. Oh, he plays one over here. Does he realize he's over there? Did he hear something? I'm not sure if he heard anything. Not sure if he saw the Blade Master there. Not sure if he knows, but I actually, it seems like he doesn't know. Or maybe he knows. I don't know. We have a bunny here. That's how bunny uh, bunny's talking. He uses dust here, but there's no sentry word over there. Blade Master just trying to chop up uh, Footman. What are these guns doing? They're just walking. Tier 2 going up. We have uh, a Shadow Hunter. Yeah, Shadow Hunter. What about. Johnny Cage, doubles Arcane Sanctum, Mountain King. It, this is the first game in this entire best of seven where we see a Mountain King. Every other game was like Archmage Beastmaster, Archmage Fire Lord, uh, Paladin Blood Mage. We haven't seen any Mountain Kings, but now we have a Mountain King. Uh, he, the Blade Master, he's, he's over here. Do we have a dust? We do have a dust. These four soul trappers taking some damage. Going down fast. This one's dead. This one is next. Oh, he's also dead. Tome of Knowledge on the floor. Mount King picks it up. Stormbolt on the face of the Blade Master. So he gets a potion of greater healing on the Mountain King, all the Ogres are going down. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter creeping here. He uses a Hex here on this uh, level 5 Ogre. It's now a chicken. An Ogre Magi chicken. That that makes you hungry, doesn't it? Doesn't it? He's going for the first Soul Here comes the Mountain King though. Creepjack. Can he kill Grunt? No, he's Hexed. He's red. Uh, and the Ogre Magi will go to the Blade Master. But this Grunt is dead. And the next Grunt is also dead. What item did the Blade Master get? One of mana stealing. What a shitty item. Mount King in no trouble. Yes, he, he still has his greater healing potion. Maybe he didn't realize that that's the item he got. This grunt will survive though. I think he could have killed this grunt actually. He has boots on the Mount King. He could have just walked up to the grunt and storm bolted him. And uh, oh, we have a wyvern. We have double wyvern and spirit walkers. Wyvern spirit walkers. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. A player's forces are under attack. Johnny K is going for the creep camp. This Blade Master is still level one. Archmage level three. Mount King level two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looking pretty bad here for Helsing. Wyvern is uh, ensnared here. Three wyverns. How many wyverns can you get at 50? I guess four. And no, I guess no. Yeah, four wyverns. I think is what he's going for. And then two more spirit walkers. So wyvern and spirit walkers. It's it's not bad really. The spirit walkers kill the footman super fast. The wyvern kill the caster super fast. And you can dispel the summons. Let's see how it goes. There's of course stormbolt. Level 2 summons. Oh, this is a level 5 Ogre Magi. It carries such a strong super item. The Baby Seal Mountain King is back into a Mountain King. There was a nice dispel on two water elementals. And there they go. Does he get the level 5 though? Oh, he was about to Stormbolt. Big oh, the, the Wyvern get the XP. 
But the item went to the Mount King with a nice mana stone, right? What's the mana stone? Yes. Mana stone. But the Mount King has to use a greater healing potion, uses it. The Blade Master also in a bit of trouble. Where's the next Stormbolt? You, he doesn't Stormbolt the Blade Master. He could have killed him already. Uh, but the Blade Master. Uh, Mount King does go down. And the Blade Master also goes down. Yes. And what are these Spirit Walkers doing? They're kind of stuck. We don't have uh, more water elementals though, so the Wyverns are pretty strong. There's a Zeppelin now as well. And he TP's out. This Sorceress does go down. Uh, this Sorceress survives. 39 supply gets 47. Halsing. Only lost his Blade Master there, but he killed so much. Oh, actually, also lost his Spirit Walker. One Spirit Walker, one Blade Master. Kills the Mount King. Force a greater healing potion. That. Uh, that Mount King died with 200 mana and a mana stone. It was definitely a bit of a misplay there by uh, Johnny Cage. Not stormwalling that uh, Blade Master before he got hexed. He does have a Sentry Ward here. Five Wyvern. Uh, Shadow Hunter is level 3. That's a hero level he needs. What is he getting, by the way, against those uh, Wyvern? Rifleman, okay. I don't dislike that. Also has a guard tower here. His peon is dead. Chaco number 1. Hard create number 22. He has a half stone and a mana stone now. So many stones. Some kidney stones. Zeppelin uh, flying over. But he did see it. He did see the uh, Zeppelin. Foggy number two. Focus number three. Is the water elemental invisible? No, it's a visible water elemental. Is he going for this uh, ogre? He's he wants a level three blade master. He will get one pretty soon here. TH number triple zero. Okay, he get. Oh, and he gets a super item. Django, best item he could have gotten there. Better than uh, Ketker's Pipe, maybe. Is it better than Ketker's Pipe? I don't know, it's better than Ketker's Pipe, but besides that, it's definitely better than the Warsong Battle Drums. Definitely better than the Legion Doomhorn. Hunt King is level 3 now. Blade Master is a bit low on hit points, that doesn't have mana either. If he just sees the Blade Master somehow, the Blade Master would die. He has a sentry ward in his main. Right, one storm bolt and he's dead. Well, there's the shadow hunter. What is that XD? <laughs> what the fuck? Works then with an XD in my chat. Navi XD. Chaco on Sunday. Well. Only for like, uh, only for until the end of this game. This is gonna be the last game of today. I have to show this new emote to BG Morgan, he will love it. I like it. XD. Here comes the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. There's no arc. Oh, there's three towers in the main. Hello. This one should probably be attacking the Shadow Hunter instead of the Blade Master. At least the Blade Master is out of mana. Do we have a TP home or anything for, uh, Johnny Cage, he's just creeping. He does have a TP, but he wants to creep this creep camp. He got a class of attack plus 12. Kills this ogre. Maybe pick up the Tome of Strength. And then, uh, I don't know. I guess he doesn't want to defend his main. Oh, there's the TP. Does not pick up the Tome of Strength. Just like that other game. There's a TP out. Uh, who's in trouble here? Who's gonna get Stormbolted? Why does he... Okay, he kills the Zeppelin. He just doesn't like Stormbolts, I guess. He just doesn't like throwing Stormbolts. Close of attack though, maybe give it to the Archmage. 55 supply against 56. We've seen expansion going up here for Helsing. But uh, army army on army. A player's force I think you know we don't have much of a chance for Helsing. But base race. Helsing is looking pretty strong. He can kill peasants super duper fast. Not really buildings, but uh, peasants. These towers are not up yet. 
I mean, if it just TP'd a bit earlier, those towers would still be up. We have an armor upgrade for the footman. Comes a blade master, and of course, do we have a TP? Do we even have a TP? We do have a TP. We'll get some more XP though. And now we have a level 4 Mountain King. He just prioritizes XP over anything else. And this Blade Master gets away. Just used the TP. And didn't really get much out of it. You know, he didn't f force TP for Orc. Didn't kill any units. It's not like he got a lot of creeps here because, you know, uh, Helsing got these creeps. He does send summons uh, to this base. Does he have defend on his footman? If he did, uh, the wyvern would be no problem. Oh, he has the inner fire bloodlust as water elemental. Okay, no longer bloodlusted. He's still inner fired. He's not gonna last for long though. He's doing some damage against his. Uh... Now, why? What is he doing? Why not just do some more damage to the great hole? Because there's nothing else you can do. This guy is just dead. Blade Master kills him 72 critical strike. Now at least he knows the Blade Master's over there. Does he have towers up? Uh. Because, you know, he's going for the expansion. Does he have a TP? If he has a TP, he could go for the expansion TP back home. But he's going to lose a lot. Shadowhunter, of course, does have a TP. These farms are uh, annoying, but... Oh, Blade Master. Blade Master in trouble. Oh, he loses his mana. Stormbolt. If he surrounds his Blade Master... He doesn't. But the next Stormbolt... Oh, beautiful bash. The next Stormbolt is probably enough. There's one attack. Oh no, it's not enough. And he will have enough mana now for uh, Windwalk. He just barely survives. Like the sliver of health. All the footmen here, oh, peasants are over here. Water elemental on the riflemen defending by themselves. The uh, tunnel under attack. This expansion is under attack. This guy goes into ethereal mode. This guy is attacking a farm. He's taking a lot of damage from the, rif from the riflemen, yeah. Archmage doesn't have a TP left. There goes some more peasants. There's another water elemental. Now he's just going for the Shadowhunter, I guess. Because all the, uh, the other guys are ethereal. Here's the... Oh, there's the Blade Master, but there's the Mount King. And the Blade Master is still healing. That's some slow... Dude, oh, the Shadowhunter got storm -bolded. I think his main is definitely going to survive, but he lost so much. There goes the Sorceress. And a uh, nice dispel there on the water elemental. We have still water elemental over here though. Sources is uh... Sure. This water, uh, this uh, wyvern goes down. What's gonna stormbolt next? He, anything that gets stormbolt dies pretty much, besides heroes of course. Well, I feel like again, he, he doesn't throw enough stormbolts. There's one peasant still alive. Uh, these guys did finish off the expansion. He's building another expansion over here. 62 against 42. Is uh, Helsing going to win this game? Looks pretty good there for Helsing at the moment. He has an almost level 5 Blade Master. He has a level 4. Oh no, sorry. Almost level 4 Blade Master. Level four and a half Shadow Hunter. What do we have here for heroes? Mount King level four. Archmage almost level five. If you can just tower up, maybe three towers is not even enough though. A player's forces are under attack. A Blade Master now level four. Shadow Hunter on his way to level five. It's only five Wyvern. Is there only five Wyvern? I thought he had more. This footman will find his expansion. Pretty early, so he can do quite a bit of damage to it by himself. So it's not a water elemental. There's no sources uh, sister over here, okay. Didn't even invis this guy, he's just walking. Oh, there goes a water elemental. Another expansion over here. This footman now, 159 critical strike. That the water elemental though. Oh, water elemental! If only he was invisible. Blade Master, 147 critical strike. We'll get rid of the water elemental. Is Helsing overcommitting into uh, expansions? No. 
Shadowhunter level 5 now buys a Zeppelin. And he's going to the human base. This uh, sorceress is a bit too far out from the towers. I think he can easily, easily snipe this one. You see the blade master. It's a blade master trying to uh, pull out the human army. We almost have a level five archmage. Just needs like one more kill. Twenty nine more XP. Here comes the shadow hunter with the spirit walkers. Two more towers being built. Uh, this sorceress takes a lot of damage. This tower is going down fast. Where's the human army? It's uh, walking back home. But so is the blade master. Blade master on his way as well. The sorceress is. Uh... Oh, well, wyvern went down. Down to four wyvern. This this wyvern being focused by two towers. The blade master takes a bit of damage. He has an info potion. The mountain king, of course, cannot really reach him. Do we have uh, vision? Oh, yeah, we do have vision on the Bay Master. Has to use the info potion. This Mountain King still stuck here behind the sorceress. He kills the tower, but after this info potion is done, uh, Bay Master in trouble. There's a, a Stormbolt, but again, the Mountain King cannot attack him with his bear claws or uh, axes. And no more towers. It means his base is uh, again not defended. Archmage still no XP gained there for the Archmage. Didn't kill anything, just forced the TP. Um, the wyvern, one wyvern died though to the towers, so he didn't get XP. He has two more wyvern here now. He's going for this expansion. Does he have TP? No TP. He's gonna lose his. Maybe attack. something. His peon is dead. Archmage is. Oh. Now he's level 5. He's going back home. He's going, going to defend. Oh, now the base is open. Blade Master can just go in there and kill a peon. Kills one. These towers are going down fast, of course. And Blade Master, 150 critical strike. Going for the sources. Do we have a water elemental? They are so strong now, level three. But we have a lot of these guys to disenchant water elementals. This one is taking a lot of damage. Where's the water elemental? Does he not? Does he not cast any water elementals? Is he like... I mean, there's a lot of this spell. Oh, maybe he first wants to kill these guys. And then cast water elementals, but... Uh, it's full mana. There, There's one. There are the dispels. Blade Master uh, takes some damage here, but he will survive. Did he kill all the peasants? No, they're still alive. Uh, the orc is out of his gold in the main. Halsing, I mean, uh, Johnny K still has plenty of gold left in his main. Now we have this gold mine up as well. Mount King still far away from level 5. Did you see the new Thor movie? It's pretty good. I heard it's pretty good. I haven't seen it yet. Might see it at some point. Blade Mash comes in. And everyone knows he's there. All the peasants are dying. This uh, priest is also pretty dead. Here comes the human army. These peasants, I think all of them are going to die super duper fast, of course. Maybe one or two will survive here in the front. Oh, they're just standing there, okay. Is he just gonna kill the peasants, TP out, or is he uh, gonna stand the fight? Water Metal does get this spell very fast, of course. Uh, finally, we have a fight here. There goes the sorceress. Uh, the, wyver the wyvern there goes down. Mount King Stormbolts, or wyvern. The shellfish uh, rifleman goes down fast. This wyvern is. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. We have. Oh, no more mana on the Shadow Hunter. Maybe it's time to TP out then. Of course, you don't want to fight without mana on your Shadow Hunter. Uh, even though you're so far ahead, you are. Actually, supply wise, he's not that far ahead. I'm not sure what. Johnny Cage has in supply. He has two sources over there. Oh, he, he has three spell breakers over here. I see. He fought with uh, not this full army. Loses a rifleman. There's a water elemental. I don't think there's enough dispel anymore for to get rid of these water elementals fast and efficiently. To have a stormbolt here. If he can kill a hero, if Johnny Cage can kill a hero, he's still in this game. He needs to kill a hero. He kills a grunt. Shadow Hunter down level six, and he uses his last mana on a hex. The spell breakers might go out. 
Like Johnny Cage still has income, but the Blade Master is going back in. He's gonna kill the last peons. He does have level two Windwalk. Never reclose his base. Should have reclosed the base here. That, that was crucial because now his peons are all dead. Sure, uh, this base is going to uh, get destroyed, but we still have this base here for Helsing. But it's not over yet. Maybe after killing this base, you can go to this base. And it will be... Base race type of situation. Now he's going back home to defend. Uh, fighting army though. Like, I still think Johnny Cage has a stronger uh, army fighting head on head up even though his mountain king is only oh his mountain king is level five shadow hunter how much mana do you have oh yes you know 240 mana here comes here comes uh johnny cage blade master go for the priest do you have dust or anything you have an invis oh stormbolt kills the spirit walker they're not master because he's still tier two. Uh, next stormbolt is gonna kill the next spirit walker. At least not in one stormbolt, but he's probably going to die, right? Maybe some bashes. Oh, hex saves him for now. Priest block. The town is under siege. And the zeppelin picks it up. And he finally finds this base now with his water elemental. And he. Uh, well, he still has a chance here though. Spellbreaker takes some damage. Spellbreaker going down fast. Well, how to King bashes the Blade Master. Saving the Spellbreaker for one more second, but he dies after all. These casters in some trouble. Uh, Water Metal, this one is dead. Right? Is he. Uh, no, he doesn't kill him. There's a healing wave. Water Metal killing a Raider instead, but it doesn't do much damage against a Raider. That's the last unit you want to attack, Mr. Water Elemental. Water Elemental does go down. These casters are Michael back. Meanwhile, uh. The spellbreakers and the heroes just killing these raiders. And a wyvern, one wyvern goes down, one raider goes down. Bit of a bad micro here by Helsing, I feel like. Uh, losing his units here for free. And um, he's down to one wyvern. Look at this army here for Johnny K. It's so much stronger than Helsing's army. Does he have a TP even, by the way? Yeah, he does. He does have a TP. Uh, don't think he can kill this, but maybe with some bashes. No, he doesn't even... Uh, Try. 170 hit points. It's too much. Now he's going for this base. Even though he will lose his peons to this Blade Master. If he uh, just kills his, this base, there's no more income for Orc. There's no more income uh, left for Johnny Cage after losing his peons either. But he has a stronger fighting army. Oh, but this Rifleman. He loses his Rifleman. 6 a.m. Wait. Oh, the a.m. is going to be level 6. I totally missed this. And that level 6 a.m. is gonna maybe win the game here for Johnny Cage. Means he can defend and attack at the same time. He leaves the water elemental behind. He can always TP back to it. There it is. There it is level 6 a.m. Can defend these peons. I don't like this TP position too much, but... And he can mine out this last 1000 gold. And that will be enough, I feel like, for Johnny Cage to win this game. Can always TP over here. Housing has no wood. There's one peon mining wood. Or two more over here. There's another footman. So we have level 6 Arcbase, level 5 Mount King. Against a level 6 uh, voodoo guy, voodoo hunter, shadow hunter, and level 5 blade master. Why orcs must always <laughs> throw show match. Hi Chaco, hi Gipan. Welcome back. Okay, well, he, he finds his water elemental. Not that crucial. It, it gives him a little bit of gold, a little bit of mining time. But uh, Invisible Footman will be here soon. First he's gonna scout this, then he's gonna go over here. Then he can mass TP to there. Shadow Hunter gets Stormbolted in the face. 
don't even need to TP actually. <laughs> I can just walk over. <laughs> smart, smart play there by Johnny Cage. Arcane Tower is up, finally. There's no more Wyvern, right? There's one Wyvern. So the Arcane Tower is so much more valu valuable now than the Guard Tower. There's some mana for the Shadowhunter, he's happy, right? Um, yeah, there it is. So much mana on the Shadowhunter. Is this uh, comeback? Is this item the comeback here? Shadowhunter with the Rope of the Magi, infinite mana. He cannot mass TP out, he could go for the Archmage, he only has one health stone. No, he doesn't, he doesn't go for it. Besides, the priests have this spell, the sorceresses have Invis. Kills this expansion, he can always TP back home. He sees the Blade Master with the Ar Arcane Tower, actually did mine out the gold. Of course it's uh, closed off, so the Blade Master can't do shit anymore. He's footman again, scouting this area. He's getting another Spirit Walker. Halsing 30 supply, 42 for Johnny Cage. I doubt he picked uh, Voodoo Dance, by the way. I'm pretty sure he picked level 3 Hex. Base face. Oh, and the uh, TP home. TP home for Hellsing. Interesting. There it is. Water Metal gets a Dispel. I mean, his hero levels doesn't matter yet. Level six, uh, Blade Masters, Blade Storm. Can Blade, Blade Storm definitely matters, actually. But he still needs 109 more XP. Two Water Elementals, without the Shadow Hunter being there. Actually, level three shed, uh, Water Elementals give a lot of XP, but one is not enough. Okay, some more creeping for some more items, for some more gold. Uh, Johnny Cage is not planning to expand at all. His water of metal, killing the burrow. Here comes a blade master. What item did we get? Parry up. Okay. And he uh, he TP's out. Oh, the last murloc is for you. Housing doesn't want to get the gold, the free gold. He doesn't want to use the windwalk, but okay, even the wyvern could have killed it. Attack. Just wants to protect his base from this evil water elemental. There's one burrow in that burrow, uh, one peon in that burrow. His last peon, I think. He's gonna creep over here. We have a level uh, piggy. No, is this a real piggy? Is this a real piggy? I thought he used a hex. No, that's just a piggy. 42 spike is 33. Where's the Mount King? Here he is. Helsing. Helsing. There's a mass teleproducers in the situation. Well, at this point, it's not that. Uh, a player's forces are not attack. super relevant anymore, but he got a lot out of it earlier. Killing that, that expansion was pretty much thanks to Mass Teleport. There's a Stormbolt on the Blade Master. He is invisible though. He's Footman as well. I mean, now he could Mass Teleport in the base if he wants to. Kill the Voodoo Launch. The Voodoo Launch is probably more important than the Burrow, I want to say, but Halsing does not have any more gold. Building towers here, or he has a tower here. Scout tower. The water elemental gets ensnared, he's going down fast. But it, gets, it expires. Beautiful game so far. They just. Uh, do they not want to fight? They don't, they're, they're afraid to fight. But you definitely don't want to feed the Blade Master to get level 6. Just creep, camp over there, sure. We have a footman. Uh. Uh. A town is 
under siege. <sighs> I think he purposely waits till the water elemental is about to expire because he can't give this XP to the blade master. So uh, yeah, he kills Burrow just before he expires. I think he will get it, or even if he doesn't, 47 hit points. We don't get the Tome of XP here because you can't get it. You can get a little bit of gold. And then you can buy items again. And the shop is still up. He has a peon. Long distance mining peon. What item did we get over here? Uh, evasion. Okay. Evasion. Here comes another water elemental. Also almost expired, so cannot be killed in time. The player's forces are under attack. Oh, he gets a footman. So now he just needs 69 more XP. I mean, Johnny Cage just doesn't want to fight. I feel like he can win a fight though. But I guess the way he plays now, he thinks he has the best chance to win like this, just sending water elementals one at a time. I I don't know, is this the best play? He has plenty of peons, he could uh, of course mine with the peons. Doesn't even need to long distance mine, he can just, you know... I mean, he can long distance mine and just guard, guard his peons with, the, with his units. And then, you know, after they get the gold, you can just mass TP back. They don't have to walk back. Then you guard them again as they walk to your expansion. Then you mass TP back. The town is under siege. I mean, why not? How many peons do you have? It's like one, two, three, four, five. 50 gold each, each time. Then at some point you can build a tower maybe. But you can build a tower already, and then a bit later you can build an expansion. But he doesn't like to play like that, he just wants to, uh, you know, harass with the water elemental. Oh, is this gonna be level 6? Level 6 Blade Master! Level 6 Blade Master now. That means he can Blade Storm. And Blade Storm is gonna be scary. Blade Storm on the Blade Master. He also has the Voodoo Doctor. Uh, no, Shadow Hunter. I know, right? Uh, you know, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the human does never need to fight. He can always mass TP away. Would he lose a base race? We have only two raiders. But we have a lot more human buildings than we have orc buildings. We have three water elementals. No human uh, units at the moment here at the other side of the map. You cannot mass TP in just yet. Since the water elementals, Chaco showing us a game of two easy computers to try and put us all to sleep. Well, at least I won't have any more uh, re requests for computer easy for a while here. Here's a water elemental. I'm not sure where the other two went. Probably one expired and. I don't know, third one. Okay, here is the third one. Okay, never mind. This one is just gonna kill this burrow. Oh. Uh, I guess we won't see a fight, guys. It's gonna be the rest of this game. It's just gonna be one water, e water elemental at a time, killing buildings slowly while scouting. Well, SEC, also not Johnny Case, just gonna sit here. <laughs> he asked for a regain. <laughs> I 
You're whispering each other, negotiating to split the prize money. Oh, here comes a fight, though. It's water elemental coming back to defend. We need your water elemental. We need you to defend. Mount King scouting. If you just use the dust right now and kills the Mount King, he can win the game. He didn't know. Oh, Blade Storm! Blade Storm! He kills a priest! He kills one priest, guys! Oh, the second priest, why did he walk this way? Well, it doesn't matter. He is uh, still alive. Oh, we got can priests heal themselves? Yes. Of course I knew that. I was just pretending like I forgot. So, you know, it would be more exciting to see him heal himself. We have, uh, yeah, one dead priest, but now here comes the counter attack here by Johnny Cage. He realizes Blade Storm is it on cooldown. The caster's here in the back. Not needed, but the Blade Master is gonna hunt down some casters. Johnny Cage is gonna fight without. Well, it, it seems like uh, Helsing doesn't wanna fight, just wants to kill the casters. Did he kill the priest? I think he killed the priest. No more priests, no more healing. Uh, sorceresses. Oh no. These two sorceresses died. He should have just uh, invest, invest another or invest each other. You can do that if you're really good. They can invest each other. And you have three invisible sorceresses. He just loses two of them for free. He's going for the base race. He's gonna try to fight. Okay, the Archmage has an info potion and a healing thing. Healing stone. The piggy here is a mountain king. Storm balls are needed. Hello. Still full mana. Archmage here. Use the info potion. Do we see any storm balls? There's a storm bolt. Again, so late. Before you use the first storm bolt. The uh, Archmage here is still fine. Uh, Blade Master kills the sorceress. No more sorceresses. Water elemental gets dispelled. Archmage in trouble. No more invis. Has that healing stone. You will use it here in a moment. Right? If, uh, actually, Blade Master is surrounded. But Blade Master might die here. Archmage is hexed. He still has a health stone, but he can't use it. He dies. But the Blade Master, is he going to die? He is probably going to die. Even uh, He just used the healing thing, right? Uh, I could give him. No, the info potion is still on cooldown. There's another healing. 208 critical strike. There's a storm bolt. The Blade Master is definitely going to die. I want to say maybe. Perhaps, uh, is he? If a potion still cool down, but uh, the Mountain King is no longer a frog. Where's the next Stormbolt? No Stormbolt in between the hexes. And GG. GG. Housing wins. 4 to 3. Housing earns $40. Johnny Cage earns a nice $10.